I was home alone when I was about 13. Mum was at work and my sister was at school while I skipped as I always tended to. It was about 1 p.m. when I picked up the phone to call my mum, and this was back when landline phones were more common, so it was one of those pick it up then dial ones. But, as you know if you picked up a landline phone mid-conversation you join the phone conversation, or you could at least listen in, if you had multiple phones in the house. We only had one phone in the house, and it was this one. The only TV on in the house, that was on was in me and my sister's room, and it wasn't loud enough at all to be heard downstairs where the phone was. So this definitely fucked with me. I picked up the phone, and instead of a dial tone, I heard static, but not, like, loud static, just the white noise you'd hear over the phone when it's quiet on the other line, you know. Then I heard a voice of a young English girl, which is also weird, because I live in Scotland and didn't know anyone from England, and she said, can you put that down please, to which I got a little spooked and answered what, hello, and she didn't seem to hear me, or she didn't want to answer, she just kept saying please stop that, don't do that, put that down, please stop, please put that down, don't touch that, in a sort of calm voice, almost melancholic at first, but getting more and more upset. I asked again, hello, who are you, and then heard the sound of fabric rustling near the phone like someone was shifting, and a grunt like a person would when getting up, and then I got freaked out by all this and just hung up the phone, ran upstairs, and didn't tell anyone. Until later, that night, when I told my mum who lifted the phone herself and got a dial tone. She did not not believe me. She was just skeptical but obviously disturbed by how upset I was over it. I think about it every so often and feel a little sick. I didn't know what to do at the time. I just freaked out and bailed. But I can't help but feel I got a listen in on something sort of horrible. The little girl sounded upset, and it sounded like there was someone with her. I don't know what I could have done, but I sure as shit didn't do it. This was 11 years ago now and I've since moved out of that house and live in my own apartment. Our planned camping spot for the night was full. We'd backpacked all day to get to that location and there wasn't anywhere close to set up our tents. We called our guy on the outside to come pick us up as it was late. We didn't have anywhere to set up camp and a storm was approaching. We hiked to the nearest exit point on the trail, met our pickup guy, and he drove us a few miles to the nearest campsite we were familiar with that we could basically drive up to. Long logging path pretty deep in the mountains that we had hiked to in previous years, so we were kinda familiar with the area. Anyways, we hop out of the van and it's pitch black out. No moon, it's April in the mountains and still pretty chilly. We're cold, hungry, and exhausted. That's when we notice this motherfucker staring at us from behind a tree. I know this sounds like a no-sleep story, but it's 100% true and probably the most scared I've ever been. We notice this guy, no headlamp, no equipment, no backpack, just standing there. One of our group former marine yells at him to come out and explain what his deal is. This guy walks a few feet up from behind the tree and we all shine our lights on him. And I shit you not, this dude's white t-shirt is covered in what looks like blood smears. He's pretty rough looking, long hair, long beard, crazy eyes, and he was wearing a bloody t-shirt and shorts in 35 degree weather at night. We're all pretty freaked out, and this is a pretty experienced group of hikers who've seen some shit. We ask this guy what his deal is and he says we can't camp here. We tell him that that's exactly what we plan to do, and he says I don't think that's a good idea for any of you. We kind of turned to discuss as a group, and when we look back he's hidden back behind the tree. As a group we basically decided none of us were getting any sleep that night if we stayed here, so we packed up the van and left. As we were pulling out, 
this guy pulled out one of those red filtered flashlights and ran after our van. I'm not kidding, he followed us for at least a quarter mile on foot. He was fast as fuck. We passed a park ranger on the road and flagged him down to tell him how weird that dude was acting, and he said he'd go investigate. I didn't hear anything about it again for five years. For the longest time I thought he was probably some pot farmer who had a nearby plot, or a moonshiner who was just living in the woods and didn't want us near his still. People hunt all the time out there, which would maybe explain the blood a little bit. But I was recently at an event with some of those guys again for the first time in years, and that creepy dude from the woods got brought. One of them who still lives nearby broke out his phone and said I forgot to tell you guys. I saw him again. Pulls up a news article, and there he was. So obviously the same guy. He'd been arrested for murdering some poor girl on the trail. Timelines didn't match up, so I fully believe we saw this guy shortly after he'd murdered someone else. He hasn't been charged with anything else as far as I'm aware. I'm not backpacking without a gun anymore. Junior year of high school, I get off a couple of bus stops early to hang out at a friend's house after school. We're playing video games when my friend's mom gets a call from mine angrily telling me to come home. I thought I was busted for not coming right home, but she seemed particularly angry and scared at this infraction. When I get home, my mom, sister and sister's friend are kind of frazzled and in shock. My mom is angrily asking me where I was and what I was doing after school. She doesn't believe my story of going directly to my friend's house after school and being there the whole time. I'm sent to my room. A few minutes later, my sister comes in and asks me the same thing, to which I respond with the same answer and ask, why is everyone acting so weird and freaked out? While I was at my friend's house, my mom heard a voice saying my name from her bedroom window. When she looks outside to our backyard, she sees my sister her friend and a guy with no shirt on hugging my sister's friend from behind. My mom swears it was me and goes out back to reprimand me for shirtlessly hugging on my sister's friend. When my mom gets outside, she just finds the two of them. There have only been the two of them out there the entire time. My mom doesn't believe them because she clearly heard a man's voice and saw the shirtless guy out there. She interrogates them as to my whereabouts because she thinks they are covering for me and I was somewhere in hiding. So, here's the spooky part. My sister's friend came over because she needed someone to talk to. It was the one year anniversary of her fiance's suicide. Her fiance and I share the same name. My mom had no context of any of this when she saw the male figure out back with her. <laughs> 